Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. I am here today to show you the most bold look I have ever done, I think ever. I went all in in rainbow colors today for this collaboration with my friend Angelica. I know that when I say her name, I'm sure you recognize it because I mention my friend Angelica so often. Uh, she is a Swedish YouTuber. Fun fact, I've actually met Angelica when I was in New York about a month or two months ago for work. She was there on vacation, so we met up, Angelica, myself, and then Shy for Makeup Struggles. So I'll insert a little photo right here. So I'm very, very excited to be doing a video together. We've been talking about doing a video together since I believe 2017, and it's just kind of been like pushed off and hasn't happened yet, but it's so exciting for me to be filming this today and to be sharing it with you guys now. I'm gonna tell you something shocking. If you haven't seen her video yet, she's wearing only browns. Yes, that is the collaboration here. We're doing completely opposite looks. So I went all in in rainbow colors, which is pretty far outside my comfort zone, even though this is very much an Angelica-esque look. But on her channel, she's doing something very outside of her comfort zone. She's just wearing browns. So if you wanna go check that out, see her in a very neutral and natural look, I will leave her channel and her video linked down below. Definitely make sure that you check her out. Thank you so much to Angelica for collaborating with me. But if you guys wanna see this eye look, let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so I was really hoping that my Blush Tribe Blossom, no, yeah, my Blush Tribe Blossom palette would arrive by now because that's so rainbow and perfect for this look. But it's not going to be here for a little while because it's coming from overseas, so I just grabbed a few different palettes that I have. I grabbed my Artist palette from Koki. This is the Utopia version. I have some nice rainbow colors in there. I also got my ColourPop palette. thought I'm probably going to mostly work out of this, but just in case, I did also grab Juvia's Place Masquerade, so we shall see. I like just sat down to film and I'm already sweating because I have to have the air conditioner off when I'm filming and it is just so warm right now. But I'm a little bit nervous, okay you guys? I have had this look planned in my head for a while and I've actually been wanting to do a rainbow type of look for a while but I'm very nervous to sit down and film it and then somehow ruin it and so I don't know, we'll see. Actually, I'm gonna grab one more palette. So I went and grabbed Yes Please because I want this bright yellow from this. So I'm going to take this on the Sigma E38 and start putting this in my crease on the inner corner. And I have primed my lids with some concealer. I just used the ColourPop No Filter. But I haven't set that because I want these colors to really pop. So I'm really not doing a ton of blending here. I'm just basically tapping the color in where I want it basically right here on the inner corner. So that's a start. I might end up coming back later and adding a little bit more, but I want to use the orange in the palette next. So I'm going to take that color and place it right next to where I had the yellow. I'm using the same brush, using the same technique, and I'm not even blending. I'm probably going to do some blending later, but right now I'm really just pushing this in. And it's up pretty close to under my brow. Okay, don't worry. This is the one of those looks that's gonna look worse before it gets better. Now I can't I can't decide if I want to do pink next or just do red. I think I want to do pink. So I'm actually gonna take the shade Poodle. This is just a single shadow from ColourPop. It's a nice, pretty hot pink. Actually, I wish it was even more of a hot pink. I need to get like a true hot pink. But this will work. This will work for now. And I'm going to pat this in right next to the orange. I'm getting a little bit nervous about this look because right now it just looks like I look like a clown. But I, I have a vision. Hopefully I can, I can get there. Okay, now finally going into this red in the Yes Please palette. Same brush, same technique, same everything, just on the outer part. This is probably one of those looks where you shouldn't do your foundation first, but I already did, so it's too late now. Again, this is where I'm kind of starting to lose faith in this look. So I'm going to take a brush. Um, this is a smaller blending brush. And I'm going to start kind of without anything on the brush. I'm going to like keep wiping it off on my hand in between. I'm going to start blending these colors together with the lightest motion in the world, like the lightest, barely, 
when I'm saying that motion, pressure. I'm barely placing pressure down. I'm gonna try to blend where not only where they meet, but in the crease where it fades. Now with this, I don't wanna blend like side to side because I'm gonna blend all the colors together. So I'm just kind of sticking within one color and blending up and then just wiping off anything that's on the brush. Now I think I need to go back into the orange shade and bring it in a little bit closer because I just feel like there's so much yellow and not enough of the other shades. So I'm just picking up some more of that orange on my brush and trying to pat it in, but I'm patting it in really gently without putting a lot of color on so that it will also help me fade the yellow and orange together a little bit. Yeah, that made a big difference. Like, look at this eye versus this one. Granted, this is always my good eye, but I think that made a big difference. Now, it is really messy in here in the crease, but don't even worry, because we're gonna cut that soon. Okay, so now I'm taking a clean brush. This is a Luxie 229. And I'm gonna take this cream shade in this palette. I'm not gonna, in the Yes Please palette, I'm not gonna pick up a ton. But I just wanna fade, not fade this, but kind of draw this over the edges on the top portion so that it fades a little bit nicer. And again, I'm not using windshield wiper motions across my entire brow because that's gonna blend the colors together too much. So I'm just kind of sticking in sections and blending up in the section. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the crease. I was originally thinking I was just gonna do a half cut crease, but the more that I look at this, I think I need to do a full cut crease. And I'm definitely gonna come back eventually and clean these up a little bit more, but I wanna, I wanna like get moving on this look, see where this look's gonna take us. So I'm just gonna take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Put that on my e.l.f. Small Smudge Brush. Draw a line. Then look up and then fill in the crease. I just posted a video pretty recently of some of my most requested looks. I did like a tutorial for you guys and in that I shared kind of more in depth on how I do cut creases. So I'll leave that link down below if you'd like to check it out. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and cut the crease. Now I'm gonna draw it up a little bit at the edge to get more of a winged out liner type of look. So there's the cut crease. I'm actually really pleased with how that turned out and I'm hoping I can replicate it on the other side, but we'll see. Okay, so now I have both of those cut. The shape is a tiny bit different, but I did the best I could. And if you noticed, I did put my hair in a ponytail because, oh my gosh, I'm seriously sweating so much right now. Not only because I can't have my air conditioner on, but also because I'm surrounded by lights. And if you are a YouTuber or you've ever filmed with like intense lighting, you know that they, they let off a lot of heat. So, oh my goodness. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is set all this down with a cream shade. I'm just gonna use this color from the Yes Please palette. And I'm taking this on a Sigma E20. I actually love the way this looks. I think this eye looks a lot better, but I still am loving this look. So what I'm gonna do now is take the concealer again on top of that spot that we just laid down. And I'm gonna take it on this brush right here. It's the E06 from Sigma. Sorry if you can hear that. Same concealer, and I'm gonna draw a winged liner with this. I'm a little nervous because I really enjoy this look, how it's going so far, and I'm scared this is gonna mess it up, but that's what we're gonna do. And then the wing will match up with the wing in our cut crease. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do both eyes so this can kind of set down a little bit because I like to apply eyeshadow when my concealer is a little tacky, but not when it's still wet and globby, because that kind of changes the consistency of the shadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye as well. Okay, so I'm not opening my eyes all the way because it I'm just scared I'm gonna stamp this, but I'm going to be, I thought actually, I was gonna be taking the Masquerade palette and using, I'm sorry, I look like such a goofball with my eyes closed, but I thought I was gonna be using these colors down here, but I actually want the, the, what am I saying? I want these colors lighter than that. So what I'm actually going to use is, 
I'm going to start with the shade Aqua. This is from Coastal Scents. On its own, this isn't really that pigmented, but it'll be nice on top of this concealer. So the brush I'm using is the Sigma E21. Pretty small and precise. And I'm just gonna start patting this on the inner third. Now I'm gonna take a slightly darker blue. This is the shade of Formation from ColourPop on the same brush and place that in the middle of the wing. And I'm gonna take the shade 143 from ColourPop on the very flick, on the flick of the wing. So in order to keep the wing really sharp, I'm switching brushes to the small smudge brush from e.l.f., which is the same brush that we cut the crease with. So the wings are all done now. Now I don't know what I wanna do on the lower lash line. I don't know if I wanna do like another rainbow thing. I don't know if I wanna just do the same colors I have in the crease, the same colors I have on the lash line, or I have not really used a green at all, so I'm kinda like, do I put a green there? Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to this aqua shade and I'm taking this on an E20 and I'm gonna start smudging this along the lower lash line. And then I just picked up a little more of the purple shade 143 on the small smudge brush and I'm just gonna kind of connect the wing. Okay, so I don't want to put eyeliner, or not eyeliner on, um, eyelashes on because I get so nervous to do them that I'm gonna mess up my whole makeup look and I just don't always love the way that they look on my face so I'm definitely not gonna film this portion because I'm a little nervous to do it and I would 100% skip these if Angelica didn't tell me I had to wear eyelashes for this video. So I'm gonna go apply mascara and lashes and I'll be back and hopefully, fingers crossed, everything turned out okay. All right, I'm back. And I know that when you're watching this back, or you're watching the video, it's gonna be like I just came back, but in real time, I've been gone for a while. I sat there for a while, sat in front of the air conditioner, cooled off a little bit, touched up my makeup. I added a little bit more like brows and bronzer just because this eye look is so intense. I felt like I needed my face makeup to match but if you're wondering if you're like the eye look looks different yes it does i decided just spontaneously that i wanted to use this nyx vivid bright liner in the shade halo and draw that over the cut crease so that's what i did i just kind of cleaned it up added a little bit more some some to the look so totally oops totally optional but if you want to that's a fun technique you could use and i did put on a lip color i'm wearing my pixie lip candy palette i'm wearing i mixed a few shades this one this one i'm not showing you very well i mixed this shade this shade and this shade right here and then for these lashes i'm wearing the eye lure Lux opulent lashes these are the mink effect lashes so these are supposed to look like mink lashes but you guys know I'm cruelty free. I would never wear real mink lashes, but these kind of give the same effect. They are very, very intense. Like, when I look straight, I can feel them touching my eyebrows. And I look at myself and I'm like, holy cow, Kelly, you have on gigantic lashes. And they're not that voluminous, but they're just really long. And they're a little bit out of my comfort zone. They're more than I thought they would be but I do think they pair well with this look. The last thing to finish is going to be a liner in my waterline, and I can't decide which water or which liner I want to use. I grabbed three. I grabbed this royal blue from Koki. I grabbed this pastel purple from Kiko, and then this light blue from ColourPop. And I'm leaning towards one of these like light pastel colors. I think I'm gonna go with the ColourPop one. So this shade is called Prance. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my lower lash line. All right, so here you have the completed look. I'm actually so pleased with how this came out. It, I mean, maybe I could sit there and blend the crease a little bit more, but I mean, I don't think it's bad. I especially, sorry, there's like a lot of noise happening outside right now. This would normally be so far outside of my comfort zone, not only wearing all of these colors at once, but having on a cut crease that goes my entire lid. I usually stick in like a half cut crease area, and I also hardly ever wear lashes, and if I do, they're not nearly this long. So I'm glad that I did this, kind of pushed myself outside of my comfort zone. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you are looking at this look thinking, okay, 
that's nice, but I would never wear that. Definitely check out Angelica's video because as I said in the beginning, she will be going all in in browns. Neutral is a very quote unquote wearable look. So if you'd like to check that out, I will leave her channel linked down below. Thank you so much to Angelica for collaborating with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern. Bye.